Hey there, it's September the 22nd, this is Drutter. I just finished uploading my three Burning Man videos uh, from my recent trip and uh, actually lost about 20 or 30 subscribers from it, but I figure um, maybe they just weren't meant for the channel or maybe they felt their time was wasted. Because um, it is kind of off topic, it's not really what this channel is about. This channel is about silver primarily, economics, politics to some degree and uh, anti-consumerism and other such side branches, but mostly it's about silver. Uh, so to get back to the silver, um, I thought I would show some of my Canadian silver dollars, starting with um, my oldest one, 1935. It's got a hole in the top, um, so numismatically it's definitely worth a lot less there, but this is a tough year to get, and it's in pretty decent shape other than the hole, so... It's a good old uh, King George the fifth on the front, and I have a 1939. This is a centennial version in brilliant uncirculated condition. Very nice coin. And they went back to the Voyager here, 1951 Voyager design. It's uh, George the sixth. 53, Elizabeth, and then I have a 56, I guess I don't need to show them all, a 57, 58, that's the um, BC version, the totem pole on there, 1958, uh, 59, a couple of 60s, looks like I'm missing 54 and 55 and 52. Those might be tough dates to get, I'm not sure. If anyone has a Canadian dollar from those dates, uh, we could do a trade or something. And then all the way up to 67, of course, those are the easy ones to get. Um, yeah, those, these dollars are 20% copper and 80% silver. So the silver content gets you 0.6 ounces. 10 silver dollars gets you 6 pure ounces of silver bullion. And the rest is copper, I mean, you can't really go wrong, it's semi-precious metal itself going up in value drastically actually lately what else was I gonna say today oh uh, good news I'm able to get 20 more silver sativas they're coming in the mail already so I will be putting them on the website as soon as I upload this video and those are not going to be pre-sold this time these are actually in stock or at least very close to in stock they'll be here in a few days so um, if you're from the U.S., I'll put a link in the description box. Go to their website directly. You can get them in the U.S., but they don't export. I have to go through a middleman, uh, which is a little bit of extra time, money, and effort. But uh, thank you very much to him. He knows who he is. And uh, that's helping me get them into Canada. And from there, I can get them to other parts of the world, the U.K. and whatnot. So if you're looking for uh, one of the Liberty, Liberty Leafs, or also known as the Silver Sativas, and I'll, they'll be on the website pretty soon. I realize the premium on these is a hefty one. It, you, you aren't paying anywhere near spot. I think, I'm not sure exactly what price I'm going to do. I think last time they were close to, close to 30, depending on uh, where you want them shipped, of course. So they, and silver's gone up three bucks since the last time I did sativas. So, um, yeah, they will be over $30 a piece. These days, that's not uncommon for silver, obviously. Um, but the um, best bang for your buck, anyways, on uh, Canadian silver bullion would be the maple leaf, as it is, uh, well, arguably the best silver coin in the world at $5 denomination and 99.99% pure, very recognized, very accepted. And uh, that's all I really need to say about that. How about that price action in silver lately? Hey, that's just crazy. I can't believe it. It's up now to 21.15, I think. I thought it was going to come back down to $20 before it would go up again. Uh, I think it came down to about 20 and a half a day or two ago, but since then it's just been off to the races. I don't know what's going on. And um, if you do have a good position in silver, you have the opportunity now to sit back and wait and see what happens. And if we get another pullback, then you can buy some more then. Um, if you don't have any silver at all, though, I would recommend getting your hands on some physical silver in your hands, not in a bank vault, not 
ETF silver, etc. Own the real thing. Have it in your hands, in your house, in a safe, or in another safe location. Don't keep it in the bank, and don't invest in, sil in paper silver. Okay. Um, yeah, like, who knows what's going on. This is going to be a crazy fall, I think. Um, there's legal action coming up. Um, JP Morgan is having to close out all their short positions, not being able to manipulate silver the way they have been uh, the past, I don't even know how many years. And uh, GATA's got some things up their sleeve as well. Uh, it's going to be big. It's going to be a big fall for silver. Um, I don't know if we're going to get that pull back to $20 now. We still could, but I know there's a heck of a lot of people waiting with a lot of paper. And they're waiting for that silver price just to come down just a tiny bit. That's maybe why you saw it come down to 20 and a half and then just shoot right back up again. I don't know, maybe some, some buyers with some big money just came into the market. I don't really know. But I do know that the paper money is losing value and people are losing confidence in paper value. And once again, metals are returning to the standard of money. Owning metal, precious metal, especially useful precious metal like silver, is the way to go and is money. Um, oh, recently, about a month or two ago, I reported that the guy that I buy my bullion from, uh, lo a local uh, dealer, told me that there was a shortage of silver at the mint and he didn't have any information at that time. He just knew that he was being told it would be about a month before he would get his orders. So to put in his orders in advance and make them for more than he actually wanted because he probably would be allocated, which means he would get less silver than he actually needed. So I asked him when I was in there last week, how is that going? And he said, it's ongoing. Um, he says that the mint, you have to buy, when you buy from the mint, Royal Canadian Mint, you have to buy maples in lots of $1 million a piece. Uh, so you can't, these, you know, you can't just waltz in there and get a tube of maples, for example. You have to buy in, a, in you know, multiple monster boxes of tubes of maples. And he said that the supply lines are just drying up. The, the small dealers that have small amounts have just been all bought out and now it's up to the big buyers in the area to sweep in and get those million dollar contracts and have them delivered from the mint. Uh, but like, like I said, there is no actual shortage of silver that I know of in Canada. We are still minting the maple leaves, although less than we have been, and the demand is higher than ever. So. Yeah, it is getting a little tougher to get these, but um, I don't think that I'm going to have any trouble uh, keeping stock, basically. I am going to be able to keep stock, it's just that the guy that I'm buying from is just letting me know that the guy he's buying from <laughs> is running out on a regular basis and there's about a month delay and he's not getting as much as he would want. Anyways, I'm just trying to keep you guys updated on what's going on locally here in Vancouver. That's the word on the street, and I think I'll cut it there. Hope you're having a great day. Bye-bye.